Because one thing, actually, autism isn't necessarily a bad thing. No. Um, because it's a lot of genii. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. So when you are at the high functioning end, and you don't, even at not the high functioning end. Yes. But um, uh, one of the one of the aspects yes. of autism is an incredible focus on one thing. You know, so uh, I I say you know don't don't be. Um, I think my Asperger's has been a very 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 good thing because it has made me yes. um, the the musician I am. I mean, imagine having such an obsession, such a focus right. that you can play four bars, and it'll take you half an hour, three quarters of an hour. You won't realise it's gone past. Yes. But having the method, you know, a lot of um, I think I'd be a, if I ha if I had children, I would be a tiger mum. And I don't think tiger <laughs> I don't think tiger mum yes. is such a bad thing. And this is where autism is incredible yes. um, for the focus because uh, I was uh, uh, I mean I, you know a bomb could go off. I I played a concert at the conservatorium um, in, in the last year of my masters, and. Uh, um, I came up with um, the title of the concert, which was It Takes Two to Tango, because I played the Piazzolla Tango Etudes, which actually have been uh, put to a piano part, and uh, Histoire de Tango. Oh. And such was my focus. And this is why I videotape my performances, because I'm not aware. Yes. You know, such was my focus that um, apparently, uh, my mother-in-law said, "Oh, didn't you hear the screaming baby?" And it's like, "Well, what screaming baby?" You know? That's a very useful <laughs> and, thing. And this is how, if you're teaching kids yeah. with autism, you find out what they want to learn. Yes. Because I, I mean, I have a very, very brief teaching history, mm -hmm. but I mean, as an autist, I know that if you like something, you'll follow it. You know, it's like I, I like, you know, I have various little interests. I love, um, I love geology and volcanology, and, oh, and yes. I'll spend, I'll spend hours researching it on oh, on I need the to internet. Talk to you with, off oh yes, yes. Yeah. But and also old railways. I like old railways. Um, but there was this, uh, there was a saxophone student I had uh, in Leicester. A lovely, lovely kid. Um, and I was teaching from this um, jazz book that he had been learning with um, for from his old teacher, and we really weren't getting anywhere. I don't think because uh, I didn't know a lot about jazz and improvisation, and it really wasn't working. And then I decided to buy Paul Harris's book, yes. um, and lo and behold, we found the theme to Red Dwarf. Uh, which I personally love, and obviously he did too, because um, lo and behold, he wouldn't stop playing it. <laughs> you know, and it's like, so <laughs> do you know? In, um, so I yes, yeah, so uh, so when we if you if you are teaching an yes. autistic uh, child, yes, um, any range of the spectrum, and I and I have to say that um, high high functioning autists. Yes. Are incredibly intelligent. Oh, yes. I mean, I was an uh, OP1 student, you know, yeah. top top of the class, that sort of thing. And a lot of, um, a lot of, there was actually a, um, a DMA done mm -hmm. on a website which actually proved that uh, a lot of musicians are high functioning mm -hmm. autists. But the thing with the, the autistic child, if you're going to teach them, is you find what they want to learn. I wish I'd known that. <laughs> In this book, I did give a chapter to teaching. Well, a chapter to teaching the very gifted mm. and a chapter, or is it the same chapter, um, about managing students with whatever you want to call it. And I had taught some, but I don't think I did it very successfully. I think we need to take that chapter out of that and collaborate and do a little book together with your experience yes. from the inside. Yes. <laughs> and what would we do? Because... Yes, I mean, I did my best and I asked other people for advice and I got some very good papers that I quoted and, and that was helpful, but I think we could do it better. See, I'm not, I'm not, uh, it's not that I'm a terrible teacher, but uh, the, um, I have communication, getting things across um, and that the what I want 
what I want to say and how I want to say it um, gets lost in translation because sure. sometimes I can come across as angry and it's like, well, no, I'm not angry. I'm, I'm vehement. I'm, yes. I'm incredibly, uh, so incredibly um, enthusiastic that yeah. it's a little, it's a little bit overwhelming. But I'm not, I'm not a terrible, I'm not a terrible teacher because I, I, I did have. Uh, there were two students that um, I only had for a few months, but oh. and, and I don't like teaching, and because my depression's so yeah. very, very periodic, uh, yes. which you are starting to realise, yeah. um, is that um, I can't front up week after week yeah. after week. But um, I had uh, one particular uh, girl, um, and uh, she uh, very, very bright. Um, and I got her the Andy Firth, yes. um, play music with Andy Firth yes. um, book. Um, she needed to do a, um, uh, uh, an audition for Grips, yes. um, which is the local uh, music program. They, they have like a week and uh, yes. there's a big camp and then they have a big concert at the end. And, uh, um, and the good thing about Andy's uh, book is it comes with a CD of him playing it. Plus oh, the plus the back of oh, he's fantastic. I adore. I, I've 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 recorded a number of his works actually, but um, not only did she learn this piece and play it very 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 well, because um, Andy's pieces because of his jazz background can have very very yes. um, complex rhythms, which can yes. be scary yes. for, for younger players. But um, after um, after she learned this piece, um, I come back. The next week, and lo and behold, she's learnt another of his pieces. Oh, great! Taught herself yes. by listening to Andy's to Andy's CD. And it's <laughs> what they like. Yeah, but that, you can't stop it. You I don't know if you saw on my Facebook music page, mm. I posted we posted somebody's uh, teaching a blind autistic young man. Playing Rondo a la Turca. Did you see that? Oh yes, I did. And he was putting little jazz riffs in, and it was just amazing. And it was fabulous because I've got two students at the school where I teach who are playing a duet of this in the estate for shortly, uh, in a wee bit too short. And I said, "Oh, what do you think?" Uh, just throwing it out there because the mother and father of one of them to a lot of jazz music and the father's a jazz saxophonist. So I'm going, hey, do we dare? Would we take the adjudication? Um, so the adjudicator, would he or she cope with us playing fun with this? But wouldn't that be so good? Because one of the things I've been picking up from Felton Price is to play with things, not be too serious. Mm. And, and another, another student, um and the, the, uh, unfortunately, this is a sad story. Mm -hmm. Is that uh, again, really, really, really bright? We were um, having such uh, such progress. You know, she was so really, really amazing. Um, and um, I knew I couldn't continue to teach her because uh, um, you know I couldn't front up yes. every week. But the sad story is that she. Uh, uh, through my tutelage, she managed to get into a, uh, a private school yeah, yeah. Um, with a teacher. And unfortunately, um, the teacher put her in for third grade. Personally, I would have put her in for fourth grade. But wow. she didn't teach the scales in time. <laughs> hey, that's and, a whole new topic. And, but but, the, thing, one, yeah, but uh, the thing is, um, she got a C for her exam and quit. Uh, and that's so sad because, um, you know, uh, I suppose I was quite a little, I wouldn't call myself a prodigy, but I was certainly, um, you know, very hard working and, um, and uh, I will never forget the time young Cathy was going into a competition and all the cream of the talent around would have been in it. And there was a prize of a buffet clarinet. And I wanted it. And you wanted it. And she played Fincy Fugetta. By memory. Probably, yeah. <laughs> it was like, yeah, okay, here's so, the so, with, so, so with an artist, you know, they want something. Yep. You, you know, were that, 
<laughs> so there's a lot of and they work, yeah, they work, they work like they work like the blazers, you know. Yes. So, so. Maybe we should pursue this further because you've yeah. touched on examinations, and I've touched on the Stedfords, and I've got chapters in well, that book and that book about preparing for performance and so on. But it'd be fun to talk about that. Yeah, I think I think well, yeah, we don't we don't want to sort of uh, have this video lasting three hours. So it's probably it's <laughs> probably good good to stop there. Uh, although there there is so much more we can explore. Um, we could do our promo clip. Uh, <laughs> sign up for Kathy's YouTube channel. Oh, and I haven't got many followers on mine, so I'm not these two. And you can get my books on my website, in which case you get the autograph. And uh, you I can have um, digitally mm. to Amazon, Booktopia, all those sort of places, and get my books as ebooks or whatever. And there's even a um, download of this Speak Out, Don't Freak Out as audio book. Anyway, um, just go to my website, rithbanetti.com, and Kathy has masses of followers on her YouTube. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I've been going since 2009, so... Oh, well, I <laughs> but I have a website, kathywilliams-devries.com. Um, I'm not only a clarinetist, I'm also uh, an early musician uh, on uh, recorder and uh, shallow mode. Yes. And clarinet players know what the Chalamet register okay. is, but yes. they don't actually know that there's an instrument behind it. Absolutely, we could talk about that one. Exactly, but I think I think we should, should leave Let's it Let's do a, um, a cadence, and then we'll continue. We can top up our tea and continue on another of those topics. Yes. Unless okay. I've worn you out. No! <laughs> All right, so that's one thing about uh, being on the spectrum is that uh, you're like a dog with a bone, you know. <laughs> Would you like a top up of tea before yes, we please. Or which which um, my boil the billy again? So um, we'll leave it. Topic? We'll leave it there for this topic. Yes, and I'll boil the billy again and put some more wood on the fire. Put some more. It's, yes, uh, it's uh, it's just hit, hit winter here in uh, in Brisbane, Queensland, and us being the complete wusses we are. Um, anything below about 24 degrees is extremely <laughs> freezing for us. So uh, thanks, thanks for listening. I hope you got through to the end of this video. I hope you find it rewarding. And please join us uh, for our next fireside talk.